Marker. <laughs> All right, welcome everyone today to the Scrumptious Sandwich Show. Now, ahead of season two, we're gonna do something a little fun that we've never done before. Just a couple of weeks ago, we put out polls on some of our social medias. By the way, if you haven't already followed those, go ahead and do that right now. I will know. I will know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. But anyway, we put out some polls to get some feelers for just what people like the most out of season one, what people want to see going forward from here, and just any questions that you, the fans, had for me. So today, I'm gonna go ahead and answer those right now for you and give you some sneak tidbits into what we think we're gonna go here from here on out. But for, without further ado, let's get right into this Q&A. Question number one comes from Jessica W from Eugene, Oregon. And she asks, do you plan on doing more vegetarian slash vegan options going forward? Yes, Jessica, I absolutely do plan upon doing that. You see, I, shout out to Pasture to Plate, we love you, but I also understand that there are quite a few different people who have different dietary restrictions, dietary considerations, and all kinds of different things like that. And also, of course, there's health things, there's environmental concerns, and I am here for all of those. So going forward, we're gonna be much more considerate and thoughtful about trying to get both vegetarian and vegan and gluten-free and pescatarian and every type of thing all around and encompassed into this and give different options, work with a whole bunch of different fun brands that you guys will be hearing a lot more in the future. But just, yes, I totally understand. I totally get it. It is something that we want to showcase more and something that we want to be more inclusive about going forward from here to ensure that we have the widest possible range of people who can enjoy our incredible scrumptious sandwiches. Next question. Boom, got that one out of the way. Easy. All right, Johnny Burba, John B. John B from, uh, what is this, Tampa, Florida? Yeah. John B. from Tampa, Florida asks, what is your favorite sandwich from season one? And John, as a Tampa representative, I think you should know what that answer is. And that was absolutely the Cuban sandwich. You can go check that video out right here. But, oh my God, that one was so good. Even though all of them were amazing sandwiches and I love all of my sandwich babies equally, I'm lying if I would say that that isn't the one that I love the most because it just was so amazing. Based on Roy Choi's delicious recipe that they used in Chef, it just, it, it couldn't be beat. So, you know, that was, that was one. That was one for the record books. All right, let's keep it moving. Ooh, this, this one here is a good one. And it comes from Veronica P from Salem, Massachusetts. And she asked, are you have any interest in creating your own original recipes? Now, I absolutely do, but as I've made very well aware, I am not a professional chef. So I am still trying to get my footing. I'm still trying to make it out there, but I absolutely do want to start getting into making my own original recipes. And you can definitely expect that to come in the near future. But for now, I think I'm going to focus on making and highlighting already existing recipes or other amazing places that have their own great recipes. So you can keep that one in mind for the future. Oh! Next question. Oh, Alex W. from Calgary, Alberta, Canada asked, how do you guys pick the sandwiches for the show? That is a great question. You know, one of the things that I wanted to explore with this, with not only kind of make my own cooking skills much greater, was explore the world culture of sandwiches. Now, me personally, since I'm from the US, most of my sandwich knowledge comes from US-based sandwiches. But I have tried to go out of my way to make those as few and far between as possible while also highlighting some of them. But I just want to try and get the biggest breadth of knowledge from as many places as possible. So I guess the long and the short of that is I try and represent as much of the world here on this scrumptious sandwich show as I can. So I try and diversify. And also I'm always open to suggestions. So again, 
If y'all have any things you've never heard before, leave them down in the comments below and we are always willing to try and make something new. Next question. Okay, Jerry S. from Australia asks, is a hot dog a sandwich? Now, yes, of course a hot dog is a sandwich. Anything that has bread and ingredients is a sandwich. And I will say that now for our culinary universe. And that's the last time I'll ever say it again. So you don't can start any more with me. Anything can be a sandwich. Anything I want to be a sandwich can be a sandwich. Sophia T from Mexico City asks, how do you pick which brands that you collaborate with? Now, that is a very great question. Sophia, we try and work with as many local brands of the Vancouver area as humanly possible. And I try and reach out and I try and be about the community because that is what I'm about. I support that in real life. I support s supporting small businesses and families and good quality ingredients. But we got a lot of other great brand collaborations that can't speak too much to you about, but be prepared because there's gonna be some good ones. Now, give me my lighter. Who got it? I need a lighter. <laughs> so give me my damn lighter. <laughs> All right. Next question. Oh, dude. Wait. Next question. God. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no. Why is this thing not working? Yeah. Next question! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Tommy W. from Boston, Massachusetts asks, Will there be more variety in the kind of videos you will be doing in the future? Tommy, yes, that is absolutely something that I am looking forward into. You know, with doing a YouTube channel and the amount of video content they want to put out, it is very, very time consuming to make all of this. And I actually do have another day job that I work at. Wait, we are. Nah, you don't get to know that. <laughs> but with between that and making our own YouTube channel, it is very time consuming, so we only have so much time to do things, but I do want to start looking into a variety of other things that we can do for the channel. I want to look into, as much as I look at this apartment, cooking at other places, working with other restaurants and showcasing them, doing other types of cooking things around sandwiches or even other things outside of that. So again, if you guys have any ideas for types of videos, anything that y'all want to see, any types of sandwiches you want me to make, any, just any ideas that you have, please sound off in the comments below and let us know because I am very open to trying new and delicious things. Ooh, this some serious gourmet Sammy R from Toronto, a hey, six god, let's go. Asked, what is your favorite sandwich in Vancouver? I'm looking to make a trip. Ooh, that is a great question. And I'm gonna cheat by including two of my favorite sandwiches in here because they have slightly different origins in places that they are. My first one is gonna be my favorite sandwich truck in Vancouver, which is the Overland Sandwich Inc. Oh my God, that place is amazing. If you are watching this, they have the best pork cutlet sandwiches, so many different kinds. If you would ever like to collaborate with us, please, absolutely, we would love to have you. But the true sandwich king of Vancouver is Down Low Chicken Shack, and everyone knows it. And anyone who is arguing with that is out of their mind. It is the closest thing to southern fried chicken you will get in Vancouver. It's the best sandwich I've had here. It is literally minutes away from me. It's absolutely incredible. So if you ever come to Vancouver, you have to go there and we would love to do a video with y'all. Hope you're watching. All right, let's keep it. Kobe, let's keep it moving. Oh, RIP. Okay. Andrew Q from South Korea asks, what countries are you most excited to make sandwiches from? Oh, 
That is an incredible question. You know, next season we'll be having sandwiches that are from Senegal, which is absolutely awesome. I've wanted to make an African sandwich. We haven't been able to do that yet. We'll also have ones that are representing Japan. We'll have ones that are representing Spain. Those are definitely some of the ones. I'm really looking forward to the Senegalese one because it's just so cool. I, we haven't been able to do any of them from the country, or the continent, sorry, of Africa. And we've gotten to be able to represent at least a little bit of everywhere else. Every other continent, I think, has gotten a foot in this. Oh, except for South America. I'd love to make some South America. The, Are the Arepa, that's gonna come up. Keep an eye out for that. But yes, I think final answer is gonna be this Senegalese sandwich that I got ready for y'all next, next season. It is just going to be, it is just going to be absolutely spec. This is a work of art. Play. And now we hit the home stretch with our final question from Maria V from Colombia. Shout out to you there. They ask, what can we expect to see from season two of the Scrumptious Sandwich Show? Maria, what you can expect is everything that you can already expect, but bigger and better and more delicious. We're gonna have more fun. We're gonna bring more energy. We're gonna make more sandwiches. We're gonna bring more life, more history, just more of everything. Everything that you've already come to know and love about this amazing channel, we're just gonna do it even better and even bigger. And if this is your first time getting an introduction to the channel, if you love history, if you love culinary history, if you love travel, if you love world cuisine, if you love sandwiches, if you love fun conversations with people, if you love YouTube cooking, any of these reasons below are a reason to love the Scrumptious Sandwich Show. So again, I'm gonna ask y'all to subscribe below, hit that notification bell so that you know when we go live with new videos. Follow us on all our socials, which will be down in the description below so you'll know when we post about them. Keep up with us on this culinary journey. I've had such a blast so far. It's been an amazing ride, and I can't wait for y'all to see where we go for this. So until next time, stay strong, just y'all. I'm out of here.